how is it legal for the Israeli government to kill people and take their land or to threaten people off their land and take it? It seems like this should be investigated by the UN and other nations as human rights violations. Abdul Hakim can now only survey his olive groves in Khuzra in the occupied West Bank from a distance. The last time he set foot there a few days ago, he was threatened and beaten. Over there you can see the farm. That's my land. Me and my wife and my nephew, they hit us with their guns and they kicked us. And they said, if you come back here, you will die. He tells us armed settlers have been descending onto farms more and more often. So these farmers, are they supposed to be like terrorists or something? Or are they just innocent people being put their land by violent right-wingers of the Israeli government? Settler attacks aren't new here, but they've surged in this region since the 7th of October. Groups of settlers on the rampage, destroying olive trees and farm equipment, and attacking farmers. Six How can these people claim to be the good guys when they're attacking innocent people and taking their property? Palestinians have been killed in settler attacks in Khuzra in the past month, leaving farmers too afraid to harvest their olives at this crucial time of year. All these olive trees around here, on that hill up there, and on that side too, and further on, it's the same story. Right now, their owners aren't allowed to go there. If they go, they'll get shot at. Now, if this was reversed, and it was Palestinians doing this, uh, it would be a totally different reaction. The world would come down and claim that these people are committing human rights violation by taking people's land and or killing them to take their land. But because it's the Israeli government, somehow killing people and taking their land is a-okay and not colonization. Palestinians accuse Israeli troops of turning a blind eye to settler violence. Only around 40% of Khuzra's olives are being harvested this year. And where they are, like here at Abdel Hakim's neighbor's farm, the work is tense and has to be completed fast in just two days. This time, Israeli coordination troops are keeping watch to see off settlers, but that's not always the case. There's always tension around the olive harvest in the occupied West Bank, but this year, with the spike in settler attacks, it's more tense than ever. Palestinians here telling us they feel they're being pushed off their land. It's the last day we can harvest our olives. If you haven't finished, tough. And the other groves have been leveled by bulldozers. They threatened us, saying, go back home. They say this is our land. Around half a million. It's wild how a group of people who experienced a genocide and a holocaust is doing the same things that has happened to them or their family in the past. It just doesn't make any sense. The settlers now live in the occupied West Bank, emboldened by Israel's far-right coalition government. And while the world's attention has turned to Gaza, the rise in attacks by the most violent settler groups is bringing this territory to boiling point.